I had a couple of things. I was, uh, was a couple of topics, I guess I should say, that uh, that I was going to talk about this time around, but I just I really don't feel like talking about them. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to do what should be a short one. Because the main thing on this, uh, you know, because as, as you know, I'll usually at the at the end of these writing with James videos, I'll have a, a blooper or a bonus content or you know something along those lines at the end of it. And that's kind of what I've decided to center this on, actually. And uh, what I decided to do, since uh, my bit at the end uh, has to do with William Shatner. I decided, well, I'll just tell this. This is, if you're not a Star Trek fan especially, this is not going to be an interesting story. So if you want to skip to the end, <laughs> I totally understand. But my route to being a Star Trek fan was a bit of an odd one. Because uh, I didn't watch it when I was a kid. You know, back when it was, I guess, arguably at its height before the movies started coming out, and it was really... Because, you know, it, it ran originally for three seasons back in the, in the late 60s. And uh, the fan base was so rabid that it, it really caught caught on fire in syndication. And then they started the, the conventions and stuff like that. But I just, I just never got into it. I was not a big fan of the show. Uh, a couple of cousins of mine were big fans. And then we flash forward into the mid, or I guess the late 80s. And they came out with Star Trek The Next Generation. Well, at first I was like, well, I didn't care for the original show, so why bother with The Next Generation? But I was still, you know, I'd be like in a friend's house or something. They decided they wanted to watch it, and so I would be in the room while it was on. And I'm kind of halfway paying attention. I'm just not that interested in it, though. And then my cousin... Uh, found himself in a position where he didn't have cable. And he loved the show. And so he asked if I would tape it for him. I was like, yeah, I can do that. I had, I had a VCR. And, uh, okay. So I would tape Star Trek The Next Generation for him, and I'd go over there, and I'd watch it with him. Uh, even though I wasn't, you know, that interested. You know, I'd go ahead and stay there and watch it with him. I was doing it for him. And we went through that for, you know, a month or so. And even though I was not really that interested in the show, there were parts of it that would catch my attention. I did find myself becoming a Worf fan. And that's what kind of turned the tables for me. I don't even know what the, the actual name of the I could probably look it up. In fact, let me see if I can do that real quick. Okay, the, name of, the actual name of the episode was called Parallels. It was the 11th episode of the seventh season. So we're seven seasons into the next generation. And I've kind of had this passive, almost interest in the show. Then along came the show called Parallels. Now, for a long time, I didn't even know the name of it was. I just called it the Wharf episode. And didn't even spell it right on the, v on the VCR tape. I, did. <laughs> I called it W-A-R-F. I didn't know how to spell Wharf. And if you're not familiar with the episode, Worf is coming back from a, uh, and I'm never sure how to pronounce this, but a Botleth tournament. It's that sword thing he had. They had these tournaments. He was coming back on one of the little shuttles, and uh, he kind of blacks out for just a split second. And he gets himself together, and he comes back in. Well, it turns out he's, something has happened Somehow or another, I, I, he, he's jumping from one dimension to another. And the signs of it are very subtle at first. Like, he, it's his birthday. Well, inside, they're gonna, he gets back, they're going to give him a birthday party. And they've got this cake, and the cake is chocolate cake. Well, and he has one of his little spells where he kind of almost passes out for a second, and all of a sudden, the, the cake is yellow. And he brings that up and says, hey, I thought that was chocolate cake. And 
they just kind of blow it off. And but every time he has one of these little spells, he jumps into another dimension until he finally he starts landing these dimensions where him and Deanna Troy are lovers, and it starts really getting screwed up. There's characters that have been gone for years. Wesley Crusher pops up all of a sudden, and they're wearing different color uniforms, and finally they get to one where Picard is dead, and uh, Riker is actually the captain of the Enterprise. And I've always been a little bit of a sucker for the, the time travel, dimension jumping, anything like that, you know, stuff like sliders and quantum leap, and but that's the one that got me hooked. I, I really liked that episode, and so I started paying more attention and actually became a, a pretty big Star Trek fan. Now, the great thing for me is, like I say, we're seven seasons into the next generation. I've got the entire series now. I can go back and watch. It's it's all, or mostly new to me, you know, because even the, the ones that I was watching, I was only kind of halfway paying attention. You know, I didn't really watch a whole lot of the first two or three seasons. And so I had the entire series to go back through, and so it was all it was all new. Which you know, season seven, of course, was the last season of that show. So they got in under the wire. <laughs> they got in under the wire on it. And so it was kind of odd that uh, right there at the end, right there at the tail end, they they gained a new fan, but. And of course, like a lot of things, uh, Star Trek, and, and there's a lot of things doing this now. Now it's everything's just so oversaturated. They're trying to put too much out there. Star Wars, they're doing the same thing with it. And they're trying to crank out too many movies, too many TV shows. And after a while, you just got to kind of admit, okay, you you've gone to the well one too many times. Uh, the, you know, the movies with the original cast and with the generations cast. Those were all good. I, these newer ones, the first couple, I kind of like, but uh, I, it's to the point that uh, I've, I've kind of gone full, full circle now. It's kind of like, eh, I'll just cling on to the cling on to the <laughs> Star Trek from the past. Y'all do y'all's new stuff without me. But okay, like I say, that was that was not that interesting of a story. Uh, but like I say, the main reason I wanted to do this was uh, Amy from What Paranormal uh, put together a, a birthday video for me. And I warned her about that when she started doing it. It's like, okay, you know, you, you've done these birthday videos. Everybody's going to want one now. You realize that, don't you? I really didn't expect one. But she did one anyway. And uh, a lot of great people... Uh, took time to to be a part of it player and Tampa J and uh, Rich from the Steel One and uh, George from George TV the Fam and uh, just a whole bunch of people uh, took the time to, to wish me a happy birthday and but I think all of them everybody that and I'm going to leave a link to, to the video it's on what's for a normal channel I'm going to leave a link to the entire video everybody that participated in that video I think they would all agree that Pickle from YouTube Watcher Pickle he stole the show on this one. I don't know where he got this but it may be the funniest damn thing I've ever had anybody do for my birthday. So I want to show you the end of the video. This is what Pickle sent in his contribution to my birthday video. And yes, William Shatner is a part of it, which is the whole reason I talked about Star Trek. <laughs> okay, well, thanks uh, thanks for coming along for the ride. Hopefully it was a short one. I'm not even sure how long that's going to end up being. Next time I'll have something a little meatier. I just, I just kind of need to take a little bit of a break. And, but uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm William Shatner. I've done a lot of things in my career, but this takes the cake. This is so cool. You, James, today, it's all about you. You were born today. It's your birthday.
It's exciting. It makes me want to celebrate. Makes me want to get up out of this chair. Makes me want to sing. Makes me want to dance. Makes me want to shout. Kick my heels up. Throw my hands up. Toss my head back. No, really, people should be shouting your name in the street. Come on now. Sing that name. Sing that song. Sing it out loud. I want to celebrate. Put it up in light. It's your birthday. No one else deserves to be celebrated like you because you are the best. I want you to know. I want you to know. I said I want you to know. I want you to know right now. You make me want to shout. That's right. You make me want to shout because there really is no doubt. You know what I'm talking about because you make me want to shout.